wedding anniversary there in Vegas a few weeks ago. Lauren Stevenson, the 23-year-old, third-year LPGA player. Yeah, it's been a really nice day so far for Lauren. She's a player, Karen, I think is uh, sort of slowly finding her confidence on tour. Wouldn't be surprised if she contends for a win, maybe this week, certainly in the future. On the first hole, which was her 10th. Trying to get it back here. A lot of movement in that putt. Well, and Tom, you talked about the players not wanting to go past the flag on the 11th. A lot of these greens do slope from the back to the front. And you saw that there with this putt. Even if you're hole high a lot of the times, you can end up with a big breaker. And here's one of our co-leaders, Lauren Stevenson, at the fourth. Five par fives, Karen. Lauren Stevenson follow. She can. Well, this goes to show you that, you know, this golf course is, is very well balanced. You know, you can, you know, the front nine and back nine, both players able to score on both sides. As we go to the tee at the fifth and the short hole, the shortest hole on the golf course, 116 yards today. Does play uphill, Tom, um, but being so short, the players do really feel that they can really jump on this. That front hole location is, is slightly easier for them because they do at least get to see half of that flag. Oh, just seemed to stay left. Didn't look to be too bad of a stroke. And that, you know, it's one of the features on, on an older golf no. course. All right, the sixth hole, Lauren Stevenson to tie the lead again. green here and didn't like that strike at all no just from that little upslope tom just uh club getting stuck into the grass and the ground par 5 eighth lauren stevenson this for eagle to tie the lead will it pretty good very easy birdie there talk about the evolution of a player learning her way onto the LPGA Tour had the the co-lead last year at the ShopRite with a 63, struggled in the last three days, wound up with a 65th place finish. Really try so hard to get the ball in the hole. It's like they almost try too hard. Lauren Stevenson's final hole of the day, finishing on the ninth. And that should leave Lauren a putt for birdie. This is the final green for Lauren Stevenson. This for a round of eight under par. She led the way last year at the ShopRite LPGA Classic after an opening 63, but then fell away over the final three days. So maybe a different story this time around. She's more experienced. 